Boeing has confirmed Lufthansa as the launch customer for the next generation of its 777-9 wide-body aircraft. As reported by CFO Brian West, the company ended speculation over whether Emirates or Lufthansa would be the first to receive the new aircraft by confirming Lufthansa during its fourth quarter 2024 earnings call. Lufthansa is now slated to receive its first Boeing 777-9 in 2026, becoming the launch customer of the newest variant of the 777X family. Still, the program continues to face certification problems. There are delays in FAA approval and the various seat certifications for Lufthansa's customized Allegris Premium cabin configuration. Such hurdles have already caused multiple delays, and now the aircraft is five years overdue for the introduction into service from the original estimate of 2021. Boeing does not intend to abandon its goal of launching the Boeing 777-9 in 2026, with the latest rounds of thrust-link fractures being repaired on GE-9X engines, flight testing continues. It was also crucial that Lufthansa announce as a launch customer that further underscores how this aircraft will transform tomorrow's long-haul business. The Boeing 777-9 offers fuel efficiency, leading aerodynamics, and a comfortable in-cabin passenger experience. This aircraft has the potential to significantly contribute to the fleet modernization at Lufthansa regarding the wide bodies, which consist of older Boeing 747-400 and Airbus A340-600 aircraft. For years, Lufthansa and Emirates have fought over the Boeing 777-9 launch customer title. Ambiguity developed because of shifting order commitments, Boeing claims, and program delays that have delayed the aircraft's entry into service well past its intended date of 2021. When the Boeing 777X program was officially launched, Lufthansa was named the first airline to operate the aircraft. However, in 2017, it was reported that Emirates had become the launch customer after placing the most significant order for the 777X family with 205 firm orders, thus becoming the largest customer of the program by far. Nevertheless, Boeing rescinded statements regarding the launch customer, leaving the industry wondering which airline would receive the first aircraft. Delays in the 777-9 certification and changes in fleet strategies by Lufthansa and Emirates did little to clarify the situation. Lufthansa regained the lead among Boeing's first operators in the fourth quarter of 2024 earnings call. Although it remains the largest customer for the 777-9, Lufthansa is the first to introduce the eagerly anticipated long-haul newcomer into revenue commercial service. This move aligns with its deepening fleet renewal commitment, positioning it for the next phase of long-haul aviation by introducing a twin-engined aircraft. Problems with the GE-9X engines, concerns about structural safety and restrictions imposed by the FAA have rescheduled the launch to 2026, likely Boeing's most challenging development program. Following the Boeing 737 MAX crisis, the FAA has further heightened its oversight of Boeing. This intense watch has caused a delay in the certification of the 777X. The tightening of regulatory aspects resulted in many program setbacks, which meant that Boeing faced several technical issues and safety standards evolved daily. Key certification challenges, structural testing failures in 2021, the 777-9 fuselage was damaged structurally during the critical stress tests, and Boeing had to redesign some of its parts to meet safety and durability requirements. Thrust link fractures, 2024. Boeing found that the thrust links, which hold the GE-9X engines to the airframe, fractured. This temporarily grounded the fleet test and resulted in the redesign of some part. The FAA is now more conservative so Boeing works doubly hard to meet the certification standards since it had its safety incidents. This entails detailed documentation, safety audits, and more flight tests, which have become more time-consuming. In all, the issues have pushed the entry of the 777X into service back five years to 2026. Still, Boeing would not give up on securing FAA approval to prove that the aircraft meets the finest safety standards set by commercial aviation industry for the 777-9 aircraft.
Boeing's 777-9 flight test program has experienced multiple delays and issues, further delaying the anticipated timeline for certification. The company will use four dedicated test aircraft, each with its role in the program, to ensure that the aircraft meets regulatory requirements and is ready to serve. The first test aircraft, N779XW, was primarily used as a performance check and flutter checking vehicle. However, it validates the integral aerodynamics of the Boeing 777-9, incorporating performance characteristics in different aspects of flight operating conditions. Another test aircraft in use is the N779XY, which specializes in aerodynamics with high cruise speed, ensuring its long-range operation capability is indispensable. The third, N779XZ, is allocated to systems testing, which involves checking avionics, flight control systems, and other crucial features an airplane must have to fly safely. Cabin-related trials include problems with Lufthansa's seat certification, which is required on the fourth test aircraft, N779XX. Boeing has been scrutinized to ensure that the cabin configuration meets all standards when certified by the relevant agencies. Recently, aircraft N779XW returned to flight after repairing thrust link fractures. The fractures temporarily grounded the test fleet, a significant disappointment for the program. However, the return to flight marks an essential step in the resumption of certification trials, and Boeing is optimistic that the 777-9 will be ready for delivery in a year's time. The GE-9X engine, which powers the 777-9, is the world's largest and most sophisticated commercial turbofan engine. It was developed by General Electric. Some of the numerous features that the GE-9X is proud of include Relative to the GE90 engine fitted to the 777-300ER, this GE9X offers a more efficient fuel consumption of 10% and an improvement for lower operating costs. The ultra-high bypass ratio of the engine improves thrust-to-fuel burn efficiency, thereby enhancing overall performance and environmental sustainability. The GE9X uses composite fan blades, which are lighter and stronger. This reduces the weight of the engine and helps in fuel efficiency. The engine's advanced ceramic matrix composites improve heat resistance and temperature efficiency, offering better performance and reliability. However, the approach to developing the GE9X engine was through sheer hard work, as the engine experienced a series of technical problems that resulted in a delayed certification path. The high-pressure compressor was one of the engine's critical components. The initial tests showed early durability problems, which required major design changes to ensure the engine's long-term reliability. Structural issues in the thrust mounts of the engine, which connect the GE-9X to the airframe of the aircraft, were found in 2024. This necessitated a redesign of the attachment points of the engine to ensure proper load distribution and enhance structural integrity. It is important to note that the last issue is not with the plane's GE-9X engines, which GE Aerospace manufactures for Boeing. It involves a structural component between the engine and airframe designed by Boeing. Notwithstanding these failures, GE Aviation has taken all the necessary measures to resolve these issues. The required changes have been made, and the GE-9X is ready for certification well before its planned entry into service in 2026. The setbacks and subsequent resolutions only add complexity to the design of such a highly advanced engine, but they have made the GE-9X even stronger as its intended tasks. Lufthansa is set to equip the Boeing 777-9 with the Allegris Premium Cabin, a highly anticipated next-generation interior offering passengers enhanced comfort for long-haul flights. The cabin includes business class suites, reserved doors for a secluded, more spacious first class inside the business cabin first-class suites, spacious seating with full lie-flat beds providing ultimate luxury for travelers, premium economy. This class offers ergonomic seats for added comfort and additional legroom for passengers who desire an upgrade from economy class. However, these intricate interior modifications have caused some delays in the aircraft certification process. Boeing must ensure that all the seats, monuments, and cabin structures meet the stringent FAA safety regulations. This seat certification challenge is not new to Lufthansa. The airline has had similar problems with its Boeing 787-9. These modifications are part of Lufthansa's fleet modernization strategy, which reflects the intricate nature of tailoring passenger interiors to comply with regulatory demands. 
Lufthansa has 27 aircraft from the XXX family on firm order, including the 777-9 and the 777-8 freighter. Lufthansa will use the 777-9 as a long-haul backbone, replacing older aircraft such as the Boeing 747-400 and Airbus A340-600. Lufthansa's 777-9 will complement the Airbus A350-900, Boeing 787-9, and Boeing 747-8 in its fleet. The Boeing 777-9 was meant to replace a very large aircraft like the Airbus A380 and Boeing 747-400. However, changes in market dynamics, including the entry of smaller, more fuel-efficient widebodies like the Boeing 787-10 and Airbus A350-1000, have made it necessary to reevaluate the place of the Boeing 777-9 in the market. Although still suitable for long-haul flights, its market fit is being reevaluated. Airlines now prioritize efficiency over raw capacity. Airlines have a growing need for smaller, more fuel-efficient wide-body aircraft because the planes offer versatility and efficiency. It is also proving to be increasingly attractive to fly the Airbus A350-1000 and the Boeing 787-10 since its operating costs are comparably cheaper on long-haul routes than its older, larger models. The aircraft delivers both efficiency and capacity to meet different market needs. Ultra-long-haul flights will be the direction airlines take to serve the increasing demand for direct, non-stop services between distant cities. Programs such as Qantas Project Sunrise, which looks to offer non-stop flights from Australia to cities like New York and London, will focus more on fuel efficiency rather than sheer size and high capacity. More aircraft like the 787-9 and the A350-1000, with their ability to fly long distance without sacrificing efficiency, will be needed. Boeing has been experiencing schedule slips on its 737 MAX, 787, and 777X programs, which raises concerns about the deliveries scheduled for Boeing. While some major airlines, including Lufthansa, Emirates, Qatar Airways, and Singapore Airlines, remain committed to the 777-9, others took a wait-and-watch approach, as Boeing could prove the capabilities of such an aircraft before placing additional orders. The delivery of the Boeing 777-9 marks another milestone in achieving a long-standing target for 2026. Its entry into the all-important 777X program is critical. For one, Lufthansa's firm order will end two decades of endless speculation surrounding the program and could finally bring much-needed clarity. Other troubles are, however, waiting. Of primary importance here are FAA certifications and potential production problems Boeing faces due to the aggressive timelines this program has given it. Lufthansa considers the 777-9 the next generation aircraft, delivering maximum fuel efficiency, passenger comfort, and best-in-class long-haul operational performance. The new Allegra's cabin offers a superior overall passenger experience by introducing cutting-edge features in all classes, from business suites with privacy doors to fully flat first-class beds. With fuel-efficient GE9X engines, Lufthansa's 777-9 will give the airline a competitive edge in long-haul markets and reduce operating costs. However, the real test for Boeing would be to see if the 777-9 meets all regulatory requirements mainly FAA certification. This includes finally resolving the aircraft's thrust mount structural issues and seat certification, which is currently complicated by Lufthansa's interior configurations. Success with the Boeing 777-9 would depend on technical and regulatory benchmarks and airline confidence in its reliability as it enters service without further delays. Use NordVPN for fast and secure streaming at home or traveling. No bandwidth or data limits for VPN traffic. Connect up to 10 devices with one account to protect you and your loved ones during your journey. Get 72% off NordVPN's two-year plan today.